Hi, I'm Dr. John Ashbrook, and I'm the chair of the history department here at Sweetbriar College. This message is to all the parents and potential students who may be interested in Sweetbriar College. You may ask yourself, why would I want to send my daughter to Sweetbriar College when just a few short months ago, the president and the board announced that it was closing. More importantly, why is a liberal arts education important in today's challenging world? Well, consider this. Mere hours after the interim president short-sightedly announced our college's closure, a group of alumni created a Facebook and a web page dedicated to saving the school. Current students and alumni demanded to see the unaltered evidence in which the board and president made their unilateral decision. Two days later, our graduates hired a PR firm and a high-profile lawyer to keep the school operating. That same week, a board for the Save Sweetbriar movement was announced and plans to keep the school open began circulating. Within three weeks, the movement had three million dollars pledged to keep our doors open, of which a significant proportion came from former students themselves. Fighting alongside the alumni and current students was the majority of the faculty. One member of the faculty examined the evidence and the flawed study used by the board to justify the closing. Using logic and a correct interpretation of the evidence, he debunked the president's and the board's arguments of why the school had to close. He illustrated using proven statistics and research methodology that the decision to close was based on faulty assumptions and a misinterpretation of the financial situation. Many of the faculty openly called for the resignation of both the interim president and the board, illustrating the devastating effects of such a closure on the current students and the local community. The faculty then passed a unanimous vote of no confidence in both the board and the president, citing in no uncertain terms their negligence in carrying out the will of the founder and the mission of the college. We are fully dedicated to the students and our school. Think about what this means. Sweetbriar graduates had enough money and drive to hire a PR firm, lawyers, and financial experts to challenge the closure. Sweetbriar graduates had the knowledge to effectively organize and craft logical, legal, and financial arguments to save their school. Sweetbriar graduates and students dedicated their time to keeping something so special and important alive. Sweetbriar faculty prepared the alumni and current students to meet the challenges of this magnitude. The product of this education are articulate orators, effective writers, and experienced researchers who are adaptable to changing and often adverse circumstances and can overcome such challenges. Resilience, creativity, power, drive, focus, adaptability. These are the products of a traditional liberal arts education. This is what a Sweetbriar educated woman can do. That's a Sweetbriar education. And I'm John Ashbrook, and I'm Sweetbriar.